It's a Saturday morning and school may be finished for the week. No, today we'll be making scratch, okay? Then, okay, I'll go to scratch. Okay. But this class is still in session and the lesson today is computer coding. Coding is like building stuff, different games and designing electronics. Joshua Lane is one of 700 students who are part of this coding academy, learning to create apps and computer games from scratch. Some are as young as four, but all have the same goal, to become digital entrepreneurs. I make lots of games and I always wanted to make games. Uh, coding is no longer in the domain, exclusive domain of computer science. It's actually a very important general subject that all uh, young people uh, should learn. So I think the, better, the earlier the better. John Wen is the founder of the Academy and a man on a coding mission. He studied engineering at the University of Hong Kong and won a scholarship to Oxford University. After a career in computer gaming, he turned to computer education and believes that digital literacy is now a core life skill. I think this is um, a very meaningful mission for me to teach our uh, young people to learn programming, which I think is the 21st century literacy. With apps, smartphones and digital technology so much a part of our daily lives now, it's no surprise that here in Hong Kong there's a campaign to make coding a mandatory part of the school curriculum. While some countries like the United Kingdom and Estonia have it on the agenda, here there's still no compulsory computer program in schools. But the enthusiasm is clearly there. This year a group of 1,000 students from Hong Kong broke the world record for the most people coding at the same time. And now coders want the government to commit. I am a believer of coding being something that every kid should learn at the early stages. So Hong Kong schools are far from having something like that in the curriculum. Right now I'm telling the computer what to do. For those parents who aren't waiting around, there are now more options than ever for teaching code literacy. Sarah Clark, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.